Welcome to Dream Framer Photography guys. Today's video is going to be very short but very important. I want to give you one tip that will help you with selling your stock photography related to holidays. Holiday season is here and they say one should prepare holiday stock photography a couple of months in advance. So we could be late for a couple of holidays, but we still have Christmas, Chinese New Year and a bunch of holidays through the winter. Plus this video will stay online for years to come, so I guess it's never too late. Let's not lose more time, let's jump to Shutterstock so I can show you one thing that is common for many of the most popular holiday images. Okay, so we are here and um, let's type the name of the closest holiday here in the United States. Halloween and I'm going to choose only photos. Now take a look at all these images. Are you noticing something similar? I'm talking about the composition. Most of these images have some um, basically blank space or area where customers can, can put text and that area is usually called copy space. So for example here or well, here we have a white background anyway. There is um, an empty space here, here in the center of the image, over here. So all these images can serve as perfect backgrounds. And if you take a look, we sorted images by popularity. So these are the most popular Halloween images on Shutterstock today. Let's type another holiday. Christmas. Do you notice the same thing? We have a copy space here and here and here and all these blurred backgrounds also serve as a space for text or something else that customers want to put. So get ideas from these most popular images. Don't copy them. Just get ideas, just uh, be inspired. Let's check another one. Let's type Holly. Festival of Colors. Choose Photos. And we have the same situation. Copy space. Basically all this image is a copy space. This one too. Copy space. So you see the pattern, right? And let's try one more. Chinese New Year. Again, photos. And copy space, copy space, copy space. So it's very important to leave some space for customers to place any text they want to place or any other object on the image. So these were the most popular holiday images and most of these images have this space that customers can use to add something to the photo. This should give you a good idea what to do. I have to repeat again, don't steal the images. Make your own images and use these examples as an inspiration. Original images will sell much better than the copied ones. That was the tip for today and I left you the link to the page with 10 most popular holidays in the world in the description of this video, which should not prevent you from creating your own images of other holidays, because if you do so, your images might have weaker competition and sell better. If this video helped you, give it a like, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Of course, subscribe for more stock photography tips like this one. See you soon. Bye. Thank you.